It's my chicken coop door. You got your motor, pulley to the door. Door runs on a slot. Uh, relays. You got to reverse the polarity. Otherwise, you could make a big wheel with the stick kind of style I've seen. Um, I just used two relays. Didn't have to use an Arduino or anything special. Um, voltmeter. I'm going to be running this with battery and solar power. Um, and then I got these two extra wires for when it goes all the way down and closes. There's going to be a LED light strip that you can see from the house. Uh, that's how you know the door is closed at night. You just can look through the window. That's on. The door is going to be closed. There's uh, two limb switches. One right there. One on the other side here. The normally open position will be correspondent to the LED strip here. So when the door closes, trips it, the open goes or the close goes to open, the LED strip will be tripped. I'm going to run it down now. I'll just put a funnel over the uh, sensor there so it doesn't get any light. Not super fast. It moves. The door's kind of tight. So the motor's just, you know, 12 volts, 12 volt relays. Everything runs on 12. Works really nice. Um, I ran some center diodes up here. I'll have better pictures later. Um, that way you don't get back flash through the circuit. It was shorting out everything. So, run it back up here. This is from inside the coop. This mount inside. These mount to the shed wall. Um, I got a plastic shed, so we're going to put a through the shed and a 2x4 on the other side and pinch it to the shed wall. Otherwise it won't grab very well. So, I might have pictures of that later. But if not, that's how it'll work. I'll link all the stuff. I'll do snapshots of it. Include it in the YouTube video here in the comments below. Um, I'll even include the voltmeter, but you can find those everywhere. I believe I paid a few dollars for that. I'll go through all the costs and everything. And got Comet over here on the other side of the door. I don't know what she's doing, but she could be the first to pass through. Oh, look at that. It's a chicken coop door, though, so... Run it down one more time. Make sure her tail's out of there. You can see the limit switch here. I just put a block of wood on there for the trip. Press pretty flat against the bottom. There's a little bit of slack left in the string. Just enough. Funnel off, bring it up one more time. Uh, those potentiometers on there help you yeah, adjust the resistance of the re photoresistors up here. Um, that's just so you can adjust it to the sound light. I found that the default that they came worked really good. So I've just been doing testing, waiting on my battery here, figuring out what I'm going to do with that. And I already got my solar panel, throw it together tomorrow here probably. So that's my chicken coop door. And my cat.